Alright guys, welcome to your 18th HTML5 and this is kind of like a CSS3 tutorial too and in this tutorial we're going to be going over some more tricks. So the very first thing I want to do is get rid of this reverse because if we don't it's just going to mess up our future examples. So now that we deleted that you're probably thinking okay so I already know how to have them in normal order and also have all the children in reverse order but what if I wanted to kind of customize the order of it well you can do that too it doesn't either have to be normal or reverse you can give each one of these boxes a custom position and it's a whole lot easier than you know adjusting the top left right margins you do it saying this you need your WebKit right now because of course browser compatibility crap box and make sure I'm spelling this right O R D I N A O ordinal minus group and say we want kid one to appear in the third position so remember we got four positions to work with this is the first one second third and fourth so we'll put kid number one in the third position and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this make sure I typed all that right kid number two can be in the I don't know second well no he's already in second three one four and what do we have left two so now if we go ahead and save this and take a look at our website kid okay I forgot this already kid one is in the third position kid two is in the first position kid three is in the fourth position which is the last position and kid four is in the third position just like that so again even though these are little boxes these would be sections of your website that you could position accordingly so again how would this be useful say you had this awesome website laid out and you wanted to move an entire section maybe you wanted to swap sections well it's as easy as changing two numbers other than calculating all this weird math crap it's gonna make your life a thousand million times easier a thousand million times really that much easier yes so I guess we can go ahead and keep that position for this next tutorial or excuse me not this next tutorial this next little mini lesson say we wanted to not only customize the position of these in or let me say let me think how I'm gonna say this take a deep breath Bucky <sighs> okay not only do we want to customize the order that these sections appear but we also want to customize the position as well see how these are all left aligned maybe we want to put them all in the middle or the right hand side so how would we do that well the very first thing we need to do is we need to give mommy a set width and just go ahead and change this to width and make it like something bigger than 500 700 pixels should do just fine so now we need to give each of these kids a set width. So I'm going to change all of their widths to, let's see, we got to account for padding and margin. So let's go ahead and change these to like 60, I guess. 60 pixels. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this so all my kids are 60 pixels. 60, 60, and 60. Now let me just go ahead and save and refresh this beast and check it out. Now you see, okay, each of these kids are 60 pixels, and once we add all the padding and margins and stuff, it takes about two-thirds of the parent. However, you're saying, okay, that's nice, but I want these to appear in the center of the website. They look kind of weird when my sections are all on the left-hand side like that, so how can I center these? Well, what we need to do is we need to go up to this mommy, and we need to add a property called box pack. Pretty much, how are your children packed together in the parent this is kind of like a line but I guess a line was already taken so you need webkit minus box minus pack and I'm just gonna add center right there before I tell you guys the other properties so let me go ahead and refresh this and check it out now all of our children are centered in that main parent and the other properties you might think left and right but it's actually start and end let me go ahead and fix this right now see if I put end it's actually to the end of the parent why they just didn't put left and right I don't know but I think it's start end, center and justified if I'm correct so anyways um, that's that and one other thing I want to go over before I didn't even think I was gonna have time for this but let's go ahead and delete that and I want to go over how am I gonna say this you know how all of these boxes are a fixed position well what we can do 
let me go ahead and refresh this. What we can do is say, okay, I want this one and this one and this one to be a fixed position, but maybe I want this one to be flexible. In other words, to take up the rest of the space. Now, if we have, let's say, three of these boxes that are flexible, or excuse me, three that are fixed and one is flexible, what it's going to do is it's automatically going to take up all of this extra space right here. So let me go ahead and apply this property to, let's say, the third box. Now, since I changed, let me go ahead and fix my position or else I'm going to get confused. So let me fix that. So the order is just going to be one, two, three, four. Let me go ahead and save that and refresh. Okay, so we got kid one, two, three, four. Now say we want kid number two to be flexible and kind of push all these to the side. So what we can do is go up to kid number two and add that property called WebKit Box Flex. Now I believe we use this in our very first example. And remember, when we give it the property of one, it pretty much flexes to take up all the available space. Zero means not flexible at all. I think it's zero by default. But if we give this one, take a look at what happens when we refresh it. Since our parent had a fixed width of 700 pixels, and these kids also had a fixed width of 600 plus 10 margin plus 20 padding, and number two, kid number two was flexible, it said, okay, I'm going to let the parent calculate first, and then I'm going to let these three kids calculate, and whatever's left, that's what I'm going to take up. I'm not picky, I'm flexible. So that is the beauty of that, and um, yeah, I guess there isn't much more to say about that. The example explains it all. So those are a couple tricks, how you can lay out your website a whole lot better than, I don't even know if you're watching this as a first time web developer but before you would need to calculate huge functions and algorithms and you know work with math and make sure everything was lined up property and it was a huge pain this is like a thousand times easier you guys have no idea so anyways that's all I have for uh, this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and remember kids don't go to college